Hello. In this video, you learn how to integrate Livebook with Google BigQuery. We will connect to a public BigQuery dataset, make a query, and visualize that data. And all of that without writing a single line of code because we will use Livebook smart cells. Let's do it. Okay, so here I am in a new notebook inside my Livebook local instance. And the first step is we need to create a smart cell database connection, Google BigQuery. And Livebook is going to automatically add the needed dependencies for us. And once that's done, uh, you show that UI that you can use it to configure a connection to Google BigQuery. In order to do that, we need two arguments, the project ID and a JSON file with the credentials to connect to your Google BigQuery. So for the project ID, I'm going to go to this project inside my Google Cloud Console that I already created before. Uh, I'm going to copy its ID and paste it here. And for the JSON credentials file, you can go to IM service accounts inside your Google Cloud Console and go to one of your service accounts. So I need to create one, or I have one here and go to the keys tab and click here to create a new credential, a new key. And with the JSON option, it is going to download the JSON file to your load machine. And I'm gonna click here to upload that file. And once that's done, I can click here to evaluate the cell and boom, it worked. Okay, now we can use that connection to make a query to a Google B query data set. To do that, I'm gonna add a new smart cell here, SQL query. And notice that this cell is using this count variable here, which is being set up by this other cell that I already have. And I can write a query. I'm going to copy a paste one here. And this query is accessing data from a Google BigQuery public data set. You can run that query. And Livebook is going to show us the result in the stable format. Now we can use that data to visualize it using another smart cell. So I'm going to add a new smart cell here, this chart one, and Livebook's going to add it. I need the dependencies for us. And once that's done, okay. So here's our chart smart cell. It's using the data from this result for variable. And this result for variable is coming from here is the result of this query is being assigned to that variable. And let's configure our chart a little bit before plotting it. So I'm going to call it world population. The width is going to be 700. And its type is going to be a bar chart. Uh, for the X axis, we want this year column here. So, and the type is going to be quantitative. And for the Y axis, you, we want this mid year population column. So, mid year population is also quantitative. And we want to, we want to aggregate uh, that data because notice that there are multiple rows for the same year and we want to sum those numbers to get the yearly population uh, from all around the world along the years so I'm gonna sum those and now I can evaluate that cell and here is our chart visualizing data from uh, Google BigQuery public data set. One last tip. Behind the curtains, a smart cell live book is just Elixir code. We can click a smart cell and go to this toggle source icon and it's going to show us this code 
that is being run by Livebook, and that code is being generated by the smart cell. We can even customize that code. Let's say that we want to do something that the smart cell doesn't enable us, something more complex. We can convert that cell to a code cell, and it's going to give us the code that was generated by the smart cell. We want to, we can change the code and evaluate this cell again, and it's going to show us the result of this code. That's it.